Hi there. In this video, I want to talk to you about data manipulation in Web App Studio using lists. So let's get started from creating a list. Probably the easiest way to create a list is when you have a, an activity that is returning a list. Let's get, for example, the get Outlook mail messages. This activity will return as an output a list of emails. So when I am using this activity, I just have to press Ctrl key on my keyboard and I can type the name of my variable, mail list. And UiPath will declare the variable that I need with the exact type of required. All right, and you can see here, it's already a list of mail messages. But very frequently, let me delete this, you will have to create your own list to use uh, on your automation. So how can you do that? I will start first creating a new sequence here called lists, just to keep organized. And from here, I can declare a variable and I will name this as my list. And this is going to be a list of strings. I already have here list of strings because I already used, but if you don't see this here, this option here, you can simply search for it. And it is going to be under MS Core Lib. So we have to just scroll down right here, MS Core Lib, System Collections, Generic Lists. Select here, and then I have to select the kind of list that I want. Okay. I could, if I wanted, declare a uh, default value for this list to initiate it. Because if I have to initiate my list, otherwise my process will break. So I can declare a new list of string. And then my variable is ready to be used. Or I could also use the assign activity. So assign new list to my list and then and I will leave as it is for now. So here I have a brand new list. There's nothing in there. Next, how can we add and remove items from our list? For that, I have to use this activity, add to collection, and then I can define what is the type of collection. It is a list of strings. What is my source? It is my list. And I will include my item one. And I will repeat this a couple of times. My item two and my item three. And now, before I move to removing, I want to loop through this, this list. Before I talk about removing and searching, I want to include a for each here, which is an iteration. And then I can put my list here. UiPath already recognize the type of list that I have and change the argument to a string. And from here, I can write. In my case, I will just write a line. In your case, will vary depending on your scenario. And then I will just write the current item. So let's give it a try. Run it and see the output. OK, 
escape our three items were printed. But what if I want to remove items from our list? So let's get, get back to the list of activities I have uh, removed from collection. And then same way, what is my collection? It is my list. What is the item that I want to remove? Item three. And what is the type of argument? String. If I run it, Now I have only item one and two. Now, how can I search inside of lists? So when I, when I look at the activities available for me here, there's one called exists in collection. And this, uh, this activity requires an input, which is the collection, my list here, and also gives us an output. And I will press Control key, I will create a variable. And it is a string. What is the item? I want to search for item two. And then I will include a, an if statement. If my item exists, then I will remove that too. Remove from collection. String collection my list item two. Okay, let's save it, run. Now the output should be only item one. There you go. So far we already saw how to create, how to add items to a list, how to remove them, how to search and how to look through. But is it possible to sort for that? I will comment out this one, this and this. That will include a new item here, A. Okay, so how can we sort? When we try to see the activities available for collections, we actually don't have a sort activity for that, but we still can do that. To do so, we may need uh, an assign activity, and I will put my list, and in the expression, I have to put my list and include this method here, order by and declare a lambda function to list. And then now the output will be A and then item one, two and three. As I said, item A, one, two, and three. All right, so that's about it. That's what I want to show you about lists. For sure, there is more that we could discuss about it, but these are the most important functions and capabilities of a list. You can work with any type of list. It can be strings, numbers, objects, emails, whatever is the content of your list these methods, these features will apply for them too. Thanks for watching and see you soon.